Don't make me do it. Please let us live. <laughs> Don't worry, you know how Nancy is. We're so gonna get hypothermia this weekend. Well, most importantly, we forgot the beer. Oh, I'll get some before we leave. You guys, we already missed our dinner reservations. I think it's getting too late to leave today. Yeah, I know. I think I'm just gonna call the hotel and let them know that we'll check in tomorrow. Okay, but if the hotel charges us, I'm gonna kick Nancy's ass. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know why you invited Nancy. You haven't even spoken to her in like, what, six years? Maybe it's time to accept things change. Okay, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Nancy is just the same as she was in high school. We're the ones who've changed. You certainly have. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Exactly, we've all grown up, but she's... Did she bring someone? Are we all ready? Jesus, Nancy, you're four hours late. Stephanie, chill out. It's supposed to be a vacation. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. This is Annie. We work together. This is Stephanie, Daniela, and Jen. It's very nice to meet you. You too. Here, come with me. You put the beer in this cooler. <laughs> hey, hold up. I have some stuff in the fridge that needs to go in there, too. Who is she? I told you already. Who said you could bring somebody? What's the big deal? The big deal is the hotel room only sleeps four. So then I'll sleep on the floor or we'll get our own room. No, the point of this whole weekend was for us to get together and catch up. I mean, we don't even know her. Look, she and her husband just separated, okay? She needs this. Fine, whatever. They didn't all fit, so I thought I'd bring us one. I like the way you think. <laughs> what? I'll let one of you drive, don't worry. Just as long as you're sober in the morning. Morning? Yeah, it's too late to leave now. We're just gonna have to go in the morning. What do you mean it's too late? Nancy, you're four hours late. I had to work last night. Well, there is this great invention called the phone. Maybe leaving in the morning isn't such a bad idea. Oh, come on, Annie. I'll show you both to your room. 
Well, I guess we better go get our stuff from the car then. Yeah, I'm gonna start drinking. It's gonna be a long night. Yeah, you mean a long weekend. Thank you. Okay, okay, so zip lining sounds fun. What else is there to do? So we have kayaking on Sunday. I already made the reservations. Oh, I only made reservations for four. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have come. Of course you should have. It's a girl's weekend and you're a girl. It's okay, Annie, really. The more, the merrier. Mm-hmm. Hey, not in the house. Ew, Nance, I can't believe you haven't quit yet. Hey, Nancy, what a nasty habit. How long have you been separated from your husband? For like three months now. And how long were you two together? We were actually high school sweethearts, so about 12 years. Wow, I can't even imagine. Of course you can't imagine. You've never even had a boyfriend. <laughs> I have two. I just don't post it all over the internet. Right. It must be like Nancy's boyfriend who doesn't even acknowledge that she exists. <laughs> <laughs> Is she even awake right now? I'm awake. I'm just ignoring you. I'm going to bed. I didn't get much sleep last night. Yeah, that's a shocker. <laughs> Night. Good night. night. You know, it may not seem like it, but we used to be best friends. We even lived on the same block together. You ladies really remind me of my sisters and I when we used to bicker <laughs> all the time. Yeah, that's exactly what we were like. Sisters. Oh, that must be nice. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> All right, well, I am exhausted, so I'm gonna head to bed. Well, thank you, ladies, so much for having me. I appreciate it. Of course. Yeah, of course. I think I'm gonna go to sleep, too, because I have a hard time waking up in the morning, so. Mm, we know that. <laughs> yeah, sorry you're staying in the same room as Nancy. She's asleep, though. She won't bite. <laughs> That's what you ladies think. <laughs> Good night. Good night. I'm sorry Danielle is being such a bitch. It's okay. It's not like I was invited exactly, you know? Mm. Well, no one else seemed to care. She just always has a huge stick up her ass. Well, you know, I noticed that you two don't like each other very much. We just don't have anything in common anymore. So then why do this weekend? She always guilt trips me about what happened before. I'm scared to ask, but what did you do to that poor girl? <laughs> oh, we just teased her about her weight when we were in high school. Who, Daniela? But she's not fat. She was back then, over 200 pounds. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wouldn't have imagined that big. Maybe a little thicker, you know? Mm. <laughs> what are you doing? Just having a smoke. Well, you better go to sleep so we can wake up early. We will. You don't want to get in trouble with mama. Uh -huh. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, I don't want to 
want to get a spanking. <laughs> yeah, sure you don't. <laughs> Before. No, no. Look, it's physically impossible. You're securely strapped in. Okay? Don't look down or you're never gonna do it. Okay. Lean back. <laughs> Harness. Hold. You got it. Like this, Reed? Yeah? Okay. You can do it. Here I go. <laughs> trap. I'd like to go see it. I really love the smell of nature. Yeah, I can barely smell it over all that perfume you're wearing, Steph. Are you guys ready? We sure are. Where's the next? Well, I'm starving. Oh, yeah, me too. Well, we passed that little town. Yeah, how about we just start driving and I'm sure we'll find something eventually, right? Is there something wrong with the car? No, I just thought maybe we should go on a hike. What? Ah, this is a trail you told me about yesterday, huh? Yeah, it's just uh, three miles in a loop. Daniela, no one wants to do this right now. We can go hiking tomorrow. No, tomorrow's kayaking, remember? You know what, Nancy? It might be fun. <laughs> I guess we are here to do outdoorsy stuff, right? I'm fine with whatever you guys decide. Fine, whatever. All right, does everyone have a water bottle? Oh, wait, if we're gonna go, I better get a protein bar because I get hungry. <sighs> Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have brought you. That's fine. I actually kind of like your friends. <laughs> Glad one of us does. Okay, I got one for each of us. All right, it's this way. Are you sure this doesn't really look like a trail to me, Danny? It's a natural trail. Come on, follow me. This is such a bad idea. Crap, it's starting to rain. I don't even have a hood. <laughs> How does Danielle give me? Sorry, Jeff. I don't know. Was that to your friend, dude? <laughs> if I would have known that this trip was going to be like this, it's not like you need it more than me anyways, oh. Jeff. This is crazy. Oh, I, I hate oh, this. It's getting colder, and I can really use a dente, hot chocolate. How much longer? I think we're good. It's right up here. Wait, wait, 
right, guys. This can't be right. It's been more than three miles. I'm tired of walking in the rain. You know, it's, it's not much further. Just right down there. No. I need to stop and drink water. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Are you serious? No wonder why you're so out of breath, Nancy. Oh, here. Let me check my makeup instead. <laughs> <laughs> you could use a touch-up. <laughs> hey, it seems like we've been hiking forever. Are you sure this is the right way? I've done this hike before. We're really close. So then you're sure we're going the right way? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure? Listen, guys. There's a spectacular view of the entire forest just right up ahead. What's that smell? Yeah, I smell it. Oh, yeah, what is that? Ah! Ah! Someone Ew. died. Oh, oh gross. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what happened to it. Hello? Obviously a bigger animal killed it. There are bears in these woods. There are bears here? I mean, yeah, we are in a forest. Uh, hello, then why are we hiking here? Because walking in the mall doesn't count as hiking. <gasps> Sorry, princess. All right, uh, let's keep going. You guys are such girls. Oh gosh, it's raining. I'm stuck out here with this dog. See? Told you it was worth it. Wow. Look, it's more trees. It's nice. I just shouldn't have had so much water. Hold it or else you're going out there with the bears. I think I'm gonna have to take that chance. Does anybody have toilet paper? Uh, no. <laughs> you're gonna have to drip dry. <laughs> hey. You know you don't have to be that tough, right? Yeah, right. This is Nancy we're talking about. Of course she does. She has to put up that huge wall to protect her heart from getting hurt. Annie here is uh, part bartender and part psychotherapist. Did you know? Of course I am. All of us good bartenders are. All right, guys. We saw it. Let's keep going. Wait, let me take a picture. You and your pictures. <laughs> I swear this woman doesn't go to the bathroom without posting it on her profile. <laughs> At least they're not half-naked pictures of myself. <laughs> Seriously? You guys couldn't wait two seconds? Guys? Guys! Yes, we've seen it, Jem. It's beautiful. No, we've been this way before. It all just begins to look alike. Hey, that's what I've been saying. No, this looks exactly the same. Okay, okay, give me your phone. Let me see that picture you took. I think I lost my phone. Hey, genius. Is this it? <gasps> oh my oh, god. Great, you guys, this proves it. We're in the same spot as before. We're walking around in circles? No, 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 no. How could that be? We've been going straight this whole time. I knew it. You don't know where you're going. So you mean to tell me that we took a wrong turn somewhere? It doesn't turn on. No, I'll, I'll check up there, see if I see anything familiar, okay? I'm hungry. Hey, give me mine. What? You said that you brought one for everyone. That was before we got lost. Freaking gosh, you know what, that's it. I am gonna call someone right now to come get us out of here. 
Oh yeah. Tell them they can find us right next to the tree. Damn, my phone is dead too. Oh shit. My phone's dead. It probably lost battery searching for signal or something. I could have sworn I charged it before we left. You? <sighs> nope. All right, guys. It's beginning to clear up. I think if we just keep going in that direction, we'll be fine. Right. Is your phone working? You left it charging in the car. Why are not you hear it in the car? It's not like there's reception out here anyways. Come on, let's keep going. These are your damn friends. Don't remind me. Feel that? What are you talking about? Don't move! My leg! Oh my gosh! Do you see my leg? What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to break the stick. Oh, oh, don't okay. touch me! Don't touch me! Okay. <gasps> We're gonna have to lift her up so that she slides off the stick. Guys, she's bleeding a lot though. We're gonna have to put a tourniquet around the thigh above that wound. <laughs> what can we use as a tourniquet? No. Here, use this. It hurts so bad. Just be still, all right? Okay. Come on, I need your guys' help. All right, on three, okay? One, two, Three! <laughs> you guys, I hate to say it, but it's getting dark. We gotta keep moving. How are we supposed to continue now, Daniela? Well, now more than ever, we gotta get out of here. We were supposed to be on this stupid hike in the first place. Hey, stop it, you two. Fighting is not gonna help anything right now. We just need to get Annie out of here. Maybe we can carry her down? And how are we supposed to do that? We've been saying we're almost there for more than four hours now. Oh, guys, we're totally lost. We're not lost. Stop saying that. Okay, what if a couple of us go and try to find help? Okay. You guys go, and I'll stay here with Annie. Yeah, I'll stay here too. No, you go with them. I don't want to see your face right now. Okay. Annie, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Come on, Danny. We'll, we'll be back as soon as we can. Hurry. Beat yourself up, Danny. It's not your fault. Well, she did get us lost. Well, it's not her fault that Annie fell. Hey, guys! Look! What if somebody lives there? <sighs> no, I don't think there's anybody in there. Yeah, but maybe there will be a phone inside? <sighs> Guys, who are we kidding? This place has been abandoned for years. Hello? 
Is there anyone here? Come on, we're wasting daylight. We need to keep moving. Yeah, Danny's right. Let's go. No, no, no. Hold on one second, okay? Just hold on one second. <sighs> Stephanie, come on. Hello? No phone. Told you. Okay. Which way? I don't know. I thought you've done this trail before. Yeah, but it was months ago. I, I don't remember exactly. Uh, okay, okay, so what if we just go one way and if that doesn't work out, we'll double back and go the other. Fine. Let's go right first. cold. <laughs> yeah, it's getting colder now that the sun went down. Do you think the girls will be back soon? I don't know. It's so dark out. Don't worry. <laughs> I brought a flashlight. <sighs> <laughs> wow, you actually came prepared? <laughs> no, <laughs> I just took it from Danielle's house to fuck with her. Oh no. Please no. What? How is this even possible? Wait, why did you guys come from that direction? So you guys haven't even found a way out yet. No, anyway. We somehow circled around again. It must be that we should have gone left at the fork. So you guys didn't find help? No, obviously not. We just went in a huge freaking circle. It's I'm too cold. It's too cold. Oh. Hi. It's... Guys, we need to find something to cover Annie with. It's going to get below freezing out here tonight. Well, there is a, a cabin up ahead. I mean, it's at least some sort of shelter for the night, right? How far is it? I don't know, what, maybe like half a mile? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> okay, someone help me carry Annie. I'll do it. Okay. <sighs> Steph, get my backpack. <sighs> All right. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, come on. Come on. <sighs> Outside stuff. Yeah, but Annie's feeling weak and cold. I mean, it's cold out, but she'll be warmer inside. No, or she's cold because she's lost so much blood that now she's losing body temperature. Steph, if we hike through the night, then none of us are gonna make it. Where's my backpack? I need a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> are you seriously gonna smoke at a time like this? Oh, you guys. How is she? She's really weak. <coughs> oh, God. 
God, how long has this place been empty? Who knows? Do you know if there's any food? I don't know, but there's no water or power. I found some candles, though. There's dirty dishes in the sink, stuff everywhere. It's like they just left everything behind one day. Oh, How tacky. Everything's expired. I'm so hungry that I think I'll take that chance. You don't want to do that. You're just going to get sicker. It's going to make things worse. Hey, this expired only a year ago. I'll eat it. I've eaten stuff that's way more expired than that. Well, there's also the protein bars. Oh, I don't have any left. What? You selfish bitch. I didn't know this was gonna happen. Relax, when we go outside, we'll find some fruits or something. <laughs> I hate to burst your bubble, Einstein, but it's winter. There aren't any leaves on those trees, much less fruit. There's gotta be something we can eat. Yep, there must be something we can eat. Okay, so I was wrong. There's been a lot of that today. As soon as it's morning, I'll set out. We'll go left this time, and we'll find a way out. I'm so tired of hearing you say that. Yeah, that is getting kind of old. I'm kind of tired. I think I'm gonna go and just take a nap. Yeah, you rest, Danny. God, she's still bleeding. What? Maybe the tourniquet's not tight enough? Wonder what happened to the family who used to live here. They left everything behind. Maybe it's that curse. <laughs> what curse? There was this pamphlet at the zip lining place. Okay, and what did it say? Well, there was an old mill here and a lot of bad things happened there. Like what? They polluted the water so badly that all the vegetation died, all the wildlife died. So they say that the place is cursed. Yeah, it looks like there's plenty of vegetation to me. And they do say the area's made a miraculous turnaround. You read the same pamphlet? Uh, last time I was up here, I heard about it. So what's this curse? They say that no one can be here until the earth is replenished. Shortly after the mill caught fire and everyone inside died, including the owner. Yeah, a lot of freak accidents have happened in the forest. Like the, the pamphlet had a whole bunch of precautions and stuff that you should bring before you go on a hike. Yeah, like bringing extra food. Oh, no, I forgot. So who'd you come here with before, Daniela? Jim, what is wrong with you? Oh, I'm itching like crazy. Oh, oh my god, ew, what oh. is that? It looks like you touched poison ivy. Oh. No, it can't be, she had gloves on. What's wrong? What's wrong? I wiped myself with a leaf when I peed in the forest. Oh. Oh. oh, Jim, stop scratching. You're only making it worse. I'll go see if there's something in the medicine cabinet. What? No, 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 stop. We need the water. Here. Here. It's expired, but maybe it'll work. So is it working? Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's something cold. Hey, how expired is it? Very. Let me 
Yeah, I still feel better. <laughs> <laughs> It's not funny, you guys. Yeah, I said that would only happen to you, Jen. <laughs> yeah, like that time at summer camp when you jumped in the lake and your top just magically came off. Yeah, or that time in PE when your shorts just split. <laughs> you have had a lot of wardrobe malfunctions. <laughs> well, at least mine were accidents, okay? You were taking off your clothes on purpose all the time. Uh, were? <laughs> have you not seen her profile lately? She's half naked in every picture. Oh, you're just jealous because no one wants to see you naked, Daniela. And who wants to see you naked? Definitely not your boyfriend. I mean, he doesn't even act like you exist. Daniela, you may have lost all that weight, but I don't see you with anybody ever. Okay, just because I'm not declaring my love for a new guy every week doesn't mean anything. <laughs> and at least I'm not posting gushy messages for the world to see. Who are you trying to convince about your perfect relationship? Us or yourself? Guys. I don't feel a pulse. <sighs> Guys, what are we gonna do with Annie? Well, we can't carry her. We'll just have to have someone come back for her. Yeah, as soon as we find help. No, some animal could find her. We can just lock the door so that they don't come in. No, a bear could smell her and, and... Uh. Guys, we're gonna be out of here in a couple of hours tops. Who the fuck are you kidding? upset. It's her friend. Aren't we all upset? Of course. God, I'm thirsty. You guys have water? <laughs> Shouldn't have poured it all down your freaking crotch, Jem. I'm sure we went right last time. Okay, so if it's not right and it's not left, which way is it? No, we just need to double back and we'll find another turn. There is no other turn. We aren't making it off this mountain. I don't know about you, but I am. Shh, wait. You guys hear that? Hear what? It's water! How do you know it's safe to drink this water? Jem, I don't think we have the luxury to get picky at this point. No. I saw on TV that you're supposed to treat spring water before you drink it because of the bacteria or something. Yeah, if you get the runs, you'll get really dehydrated. You know what else makes you dehydrated? Not drinking water. Jem, now you have enough water to cool down your crotch for hours. <laughs> so what do we do now? Well, 
we can follow the stream down. It'll empty out into a river or something like that. And then we will follow the river to civilization. This water is so cold, I don't feel my hand. Hey, don't leave them in there too long. You could get frostbite. for me. We're saved. <laughs> that mill from the pamphlet. Not much left after the fire. So this is where it all started. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to drink that water. So you believe in the curse too now, huh? What's wrong? My hand. Let me see it. What happened to you? I lost my glove. Oh. Oh. oh, God. I'm gonna lose my fingers, aren't I? You better wrap that thing up before it gets worse. I mean, right now it's only in the fingertips. Wrap it up with what? A anyone have an extra set of gloves? Here. What about you? You need them more than I do. I have a left one, so I'm not too worried about matching. I'm so hungry. Well, we can't stay here. We have to keep going. There's nothing here. Well, it's going to get dark soon. We can't stay here. These walls won't be much shelter from the cold. At least they'll shelter us from the wind. I'm tired. I need to rest. Fine, stay. But I'm hiking up to higher ground to see if I can find anything in the distance. You really want to expend your energy doing that? Yeah, I do. Because we need to figure out how much further we need to go. You guys, we got to find some food or something. I mean, we're running on fumes. Well, a person can live for several days without food as long as they have water. What if we go fishing or something? Using what exactly? I don't know. Who's gonna wanna date me now that I don't have fingers? 
You don't know for a fact that you're gonna lose them. Um... on top of everything else. We gotta keep moving sooner. We're not gonna find an actual roof before sundown. I'm gonna go find Stephanie. Oh, it's getting really cold. Sun's going down. It'll be dark soon. You think about how you're gonna die. I never thought I'd end like this. Hey, don't talk like that.
Oh. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry if that wasn't nice to you in high school. That was a long time ago. It was mostly Nancy, anyway. I should have been a better friend. I don't really want to talk about high school right now. Okay. We have to go! Yvonne's over close by? Yeah, just a few miles from here. What happened to your hand? Uh, there was glass. Do you guys have something I can wrap it with? Here, here, eat. Where did you get these? Don't ask. Well, where's Stephanie? Stephanie's dead. What? I think we'll be safer the further we get away from these ruins. Here. So you think the curse is real now? It's better to be safe than sorry. Come on! Get your stuff! Hurry up! What happened to Stephanie? I'll tell you when we're away from here. How much longer do you think? We can stop here for the night if you can't keep going. No. I'd rather keep going. Yeah, me too. I mean, we don't have any shelter. It's just gonna get colder and colder. There's only one problem. What, you don't know where it is in the dark? I didn't really see a place where we could hike to. What? I just told you guys that so you'd leave that place. What is wrong with you? There's something really wrong with that place. Why? Because Stephanie had her accident there? Yeah, because of that. And I also found a severed hand only a few feet away from where she was, okay? A severed hand? What happened to the rest of the body? I don't know. Maybe a bear ate it or something. So the curse is true. No. No, no, no. It's all just a coincidence. Right? I'm gonna go get some branches so we can build a fire to warm us up. I'll help you. How's your hand? Well, bleeding stopped. 
I don't suppose you want this back. <laughs> no, it's all yours. How's your hand? I don't feel my hand. Or am I? <laughs> Here, let me see it. you feel this? What about this? You feel that? How about this one? Yeah. <laughs> I feel that one. We're gonna have to amputate the fingers. Otherwise your whole hand is gonna get gangrene. No. Yeah, no way, Nance. We'll get her to a doctor. They'll take care of it. Look, guys, we have to be realistic that we might be out here for a really long time. If we don't take off her fingers, by the time we find help, she could lose her entire hand. I mean, better four fingers than your whole hand. No! I don't want to lose my fingers. They're already lost. This is dead tissue, that's why you can't feel anything. We don't have anything to cut with, so. That? They're already dead. You don't feel a thing. Actually, um, we have to cut just past where the dead tissue ends. Without anesthesia. No. Jam, if we don't do it, you could die. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd prefer that. Go behind a tree. Stay close. Quick. False alarm. Oh my god. Don't worry. We're more afraid of us than we are of them. I'm really glad Jim's asleep right now.
I don't think he saw us. You know, we probably can't cross the river anyway. No. I think it's pretty shallow there. Then what do we do? Let's walk back into the forest. No way, Jim. You're too weak for that. Our only hope is to keep going down the river. Look, he's probably more scared of us than we are of him, okay? So I'll go first by myself, and you'll see that he just goes back into the woods and leaves us alone. What if you're wrong, Nancy? I'm not. You'll see. As soon as he's spooked away, you guys can follow me, okay? Street, we're never gonna make it. I can't keep going anymore. I need food. Anything in your stomach to throw out. How can you even look at that? I don't know. It's like I've become numb. Danny, she looks familiar. How? She, she looks like a woman in, in, in the picture. What picture? There was a, a, a picture in the cabin and she's wearing the same funky hat. The cabin was abandoned years ago. There's no way. This body's barely decomposed. I'm telling you that it's the same funky hat. It's just a coincidence. Let's keep going. Five minutes. I need. I need a minute. I just need. A, I need a quick minute. I think this is as far as you're gonna go. No. I just need a quick, a quick power nap. All those people who disappeared here, all the supposed accidents. Suppose. 
They seem like accidents to us, but they're not. It's the earth proclaiming your life. You're losing it, Danny. Animals must die in order for us to feed and live. And we must die in order to feed the plants, which in turn feeds the earth, which in turn feeds the animals. This place needs blood to replenish itself. What the hell are you talking about? I need to get out of here. I won't let me leave until you're dead. talking to? Where's Jem? I thought you were dead. I stabbed it in the jugular. But I heard you scream. Yeah, because it hurt like hell when I used my hand. The wound is still open. Where's Jem? happened to her? Why are you covered in blood? We got attacked by a bear. Are you hurt? All right then, well, I guess it's just me and you. Better get going.
great. I just, uh, they need a second. So hungry. You're quitting? Yeah, I've been meaning to for a while now. Better late than never, I guess. It's not too late. You and I are gonna get out of here. You really think so? I know so. Well, if you can kill a bear with that little knife, then I guess anything's possible. No, I just got lucky. I was totally guessing where the jugular was. I'm assuming it was the jugular because when I stabbed it, all this blood started spraying everywhere. Wow. Can I uh, see it? Doesn't look like much. I just hope we don't find any more dead people. You know, I'm really sorry I ever suggested this hike. I know you are. We're all big girls and we all agreed. You never did tell us who brought you to this dreadful place before. Oh, some friends from college. Robert, Meg, and their friend Julian. Robert and Meg? Didn't I see you post on your profile that they disappeared last year? <laughs> <laughs> You're up. Now, you are going to tell me exactly what is going on here. You know what's going on. Did you kill all these people? Of course I didn't. And what about Jem? Jem was already dead. She just didn't know it yet. I was running out of food. You found your stash. What happened to your college friends, huh? Julian brought us up here. Took us on that hike. First it was Robert. Then it was Meg. They just seemed like fluke accidents. And then when it was just Julian and me, he told me the truth. What truth? About the curse. About what I had to do. Which is? It won't let us both out alive. It. It demands reparation and it demands blood. So you brought us here to kill us? Once I killed Julian, I knew. It told me that if I didn't bring it more blood, then it would kill me too. We're your friends. No, you weren't. We stopped being friends the second I got to high school. Then you guys got ashamed of me just because I got a little chubby. Oh. You have no idea how many times 
I intervene to stop others from whooping your ass. Yeah, right, you're right there beside them, making fun of me the whole time. Do you have any idea what that did to me? Yeah, because just like you, I struggled to fit in. But twice, twice I got into a fight defending you. Remember when I was suspended from school for a week? If that's true, then why didn't you tell me sooner? Because high school sucks and peer pressure is a bitch. That was a long time ago. Most of us have gotten past all of that. Easy for you to say. Fine. Stay bitter for the rest of your life, bitch. Wait a second. Wait, Nancy, are, are you just gonna leave me tied up like this? I don't trust you not to follow me and kill me. You seem to really believe all that crap you were saying. As soon as I find help, I'll have them come looking for you. You know, Nancy, you might as well just kill me. Because what it's going to do is way worse than anything you can do. You really are. It's I'll bring them to you, I swear. 